also we've got this freezer unit with a controller in it that does read the temperature and then it kicks into ER. So it reads this and then it'll hit the snowflake for a second and run. So, bad controller or bad probe, but. Before I disconnect it, I wanna look at the settings. Oh, Celsius, I think that's five. Yep, zero, bing. Okay, so now we hit that. EE is temperature probe. Are. Oh, there it is. F1. So it's just not holding any. It's not holding any setting. Oh, wait, it's dipped. Yeah, that's all right, not too I'm going to replace the entire controller. First thing I'm going to do is go to F5. Nope. Wah, wah, wah. Change that to one. Lock it in because I only speak Fahrenheit. Because America. All right, now let's get our set temperature. I don't. I wasn't able to lock into what the old temperature was. Um, I will be able to go back and look at the previous video where we set this thermostat, and that'll help me. But for now. Assuming we're in the coil, because it's a cooler. No, this is a cooler or a freezer? It's okay. Yeah, as I thought. So this is a cooler and I'm in the coil probe. Should be something like this. And then differential. Um, I mean, theoretically, what did I set that for? 27? So 12? That's 2739. Sorry, there's a lot going on. At least it's not background music, no copyright strikes. And we'll close that out. This is our delay, which is that four? One's an offset. I could just grab the book, right? One's an offset and one's a delay. There's your offset. So. Yep, so we got rid of the delay. Snowflake kicks on. Condenser started. Compressor started. I hope not. I don't have R513 anyway. Come on, y'all. All this nonsense. All right, so we're going to let this run and pull down. And we're going to watch. Uh, I'm going to go back and pull the old video and see. But what this temperature does is going to tell me. I normally, you can't, if you only put these in the box, then you're going to freeze up. You have to put it in the coil. So if this goes down to 27 right away, it's going to confirm for me that I'm in the coil. And then I'll let it run a couple cycles and see how I had it set before. But they want me to take a look at some of these stolting units. So we'll put our fresh stolting training to use. Then. So this box with everything we've been closed the entire time is like 33, 34. And we had it set down to 27 and it's satisfied. So perfect. So let's make sure I've got it right. So F1 is 27. 27 is gonna give me a 34 degree box. Okay, F2, what in the world? Wow, look what I was about to do. That's your differential. So, 27 plus 10 is 37. 37 is five degrees above 32, right? So I'm actually gonna make it 11, I'm gonna go to 38. So 38 is gonna give me six degrees of manual defrost. So this coil is now 34. So remember it was 27 a minute ago, so it was growing ice. So now we're blowing around 35 degree air. It's melting that ice. When this gets up to 38, it should pull back down, which we can make happen much quicker by opening a drawer. But it looks like we're gonna get there pretty well on our own anyway. Lot going 
going on, guys. Sorry. It's a loud day today. what's going to happen is your inside temperature bottomed out at 34 and it should top out at 38. So now your box is going to go 34, 38, 34, 38 and it's going to defrost itself. Booyah.